So after my Romer G G910 Logitech Orion Spark keyboard bit the dust, as in the spacebar just went crazy, the V key did whatever it felt like doing, and the shift key worked 50% of the time. After waiting about a week or so for Logitech to get back to me on a replacement, I became lethargic and started looking for a new keyboard. I contacted Aki, hoping to get like a full keyboard with a numpad, but they've decided not to speak to me anymore. Hmm. Oh well. So, being usual me, when I get angry, I get even. Or whatever. And I decided, screw it, then I'll go pay for an expensive keyboard. It was on Black Friday. I picked up the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum Mechanical Keyboard, the gunmetal variant, with the Cherry MX Speeds. And I have to say that this was worth it in my opinion. What I sacrificed in clickiness, which I loved about Cherry Blues, or even Cherry Blue Clones, I gained in speed. The ease of use of this keyboard is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Now, the only thing I blame when I don't get off my attack move is the damn tick rate. Because these keys are easy to pick up an input. Like, super easy. It might take some people a bit of time to adjust to, but for me, the adjustment was painless. Usually, while switching from keyboard to keyboard, as you've seen on my channel, I've reviewed a whole shit ton. I find myself making mistakes while playing games, or becoming discombobulated on the change of scenery. But with this keyboard, such was not the case. I may have made, maybe, five major mistakes in gaming with this keyboard that I can remember. Made one today. Other than that, this keyboard is the bomb, in my opinion. I really, genuinely dig it. It's made with aircraft-grade ionized brushed aluminum frame, built to withstand a lifetime in gaming. I hope so, because my Logitech barely made it a year. It has an 8 megabyte profile storage for hardware, macros, and lighting playback, allowing access for up to three store profiles on the go, which runs independently of the external software, which I didn't bother putting into this. I should have, but I forgot. And I'll break a deal like this. Corsair's like software kind of blows. Logitech has them beat, bar none, for ease of use and the ability to change what you want. I like the fact that Logitech software can go across the board if you got the keyboard, the mouse, and the mouse pad like I have. But sometimes some things don't save or you don't have the right profile going on or you want to use one profile with a different profile on the keyboard and it's just not working for me and it changes my DPI settings, I can't live with that. It comes with per key RGB background lighting, up to 19 zones, lighting effects deliver dynamic and vibrant lighting effects with virtually unlimited customization. This is true. The one thing I could say about the Corsair keyboard is the RGBs are phenomenal. They kick the shit out of everything else I've had before. I forgot to mention this also comes with custom keys, sorry, sort of custom keys, you know for gaming keys, your W, Q, E, R, and a you wasd you know what i mean i really like them actually it suits perfectly i like the feel of it coming from scallop keys to this is not an issue i also like the slight look it gives it, it's a real premium sort of edgy vibe it's like your first taste of custom keys for your mx keyboard as i was stating before the lighting zones are fantastic and there are three included lighting profiles all of which are decent i haven't bothered adding my own yet because i haven't really settled on anything if you want to blow some time, man, and you're really into it, the Corsair software does give you some crazy-ass customization, but it's time-consuming, and sometimes you lose profiles, or at least I have, so it can be frustrating. It comes with six programmable G keys for gaming macros. A lot less than my Logitech, but no big warp. I only used about four anyway. But there's something about having those extra keys. Maybe it helps me compensate for the shitty life I have. I didn't even bother editing in the detachable dual-sided soft touch wrist rest because I thought it looked really boring to watch me cut it out and put it in and look at it and twist it around like a douchebag. I figured you get the vibe from just looking at the keyboard and I gotta say I like this. It's actually very nice. I love the feel. I don't know how long it'll last though from multiple uses because I wore in my Logitech wrist rest until the thing was as smooth as glass. So time will tell. 100% anti-ghosting on all the keyboard, rollover, ensures, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, this is premium. All day, all night, straight up premium. And this is kind of what the Chinese market is striving to copy. 
and have yet to truly perfect. I will say that the Gatron and Umu keys that are pretty much cherry clones aren't bad. They don't deliver the same level of overall performance and feel that you come across them to with this. I'm not necessarily saying they're bad, but the entire presentation isn't like this because there has to be compromises. I think the Chinese market can only focus on giving you a good keyboard mechanically. But as far as aesthetics go and RGB lighting, they still have a ways to go as I assume it's not cheap to make it happen because this lighting system is beautiful. And it'll only really impress someone who's into RGB lighting. If you're not in RGB lighting, you can give a dick less about this. And I figured to end it off, I may as well just give you a sound test. Uh, I'm going to say that the MX speeds, they sound a bit like browns. And you might go, well, how fast are MX speeds? MX speeds are faster than MX reds. And supposedly, Logitech's Romer G's were as fast as reds. The speeds are a little bit faster on that end. I mean, if you're looking for the fastest possible gaming keyboard out right now, MX speeds are it. Some would say it's all hype. But so far, you know, I can't find any issue with it. And Zill's the one who recommended me this keyboard, and I trust him because that motherfucker is fast on first-person shooters. Like, ridiculously, annoyingly fast and responsive. He almost seems like a robot. So anyway, might as well end this video here with uh, just a little bit of sound test as it just slowly winds off the video. I can honestly say that I like this keyboard. It's a little pricey. The black version on Newegg is still $199. That's a big chunk of change. I picked up mines on Black Friday for around 140 something. You can still get the gunmetal version for 149 on Newegg, ironically enough, which is the one I picked up. So who needed to wait for Black Friday? Rate, comment, subscribe if you so choose to. If not, to hell with it. I can't ask anyone to give more of a shit than me in the age of apathy. And you know it's the age of apathy. You know it's the age of apathy. You can see what's going on in the government and go, wow, things are fucked. But each one of you that follows me, makes my voice louder in an industry full of fence riders, corporate shills, and people who won't really give you the honest truth of anything. Because they can't afford to, they'll get fired. Not Gundam, I'm in nobody's pocket. I'm not for sale, because no one's buying. Well, thanks for blowing time with me, and adios bichachos.